So that kind of negotiation of whether we take the street or we don't take the street will be a core group of people. Um, but then we have to disseminate those decisions back to the marshals. And marshals will probably be put in four, set, four teams, uh, assuming we're marching, a front team, a back team, a west side, and an east side group. So you'd be with the west side of the march or the east side of the march. Um, so we would then have to disseminate to each of those teams what the current plan is or how things are, are, are changing. Do you text, do you text so no, so this is the problem is that in a crowd, cell phones are completely useless. You don't hear them ring, you don't feel them buzz, and you can't, you want to be watching what's going on, not constantly looking at your cell phone. So we rely on what I will call runners. We rely on eye-to-eye -eye communication, and we rely on finding people in the armbands and talking to them. So uh, there's a lot of walking around and chatting and, 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 and talking to people. Um, uh, uh, even walkie-talkies are very problematic. Every large demonstration I've been at where I've been given a walkie-talkie, I've eventually just like stuck it in my, taken it off and stuck it in my backpack. And, you know, thank you, Occupy, mic check works really well. So you can just do mic check, uh, and people will say mic check, and you can say marshals to the front, or marshals to 45th Street. Regroup. Reorganize. So, so there are a lot of ways that we can deal with it without the technology. In my experience, the technology gets in the way and people rely too much on it and you, you send out a message, you, you think people got it, and there's no check back. 